apostate prophet exposes fake ex-Muslim imam. So for those who are not aware, and how could you be unaware, Apostate Prophet is the largest ex-Muslim atheist channel on YouTube, and he recently featured in a guest known as the quote-unquote apostate imam. Now, this episode, it took a turn. And it took a juicy turn, mon frere. <laughs> that, wait, no, that's, that's singular. I don't know how to say it plural, okay? <laughs> it took, comrades, it took a juicy mm. turn. <laughs> um, so for those who are not aware, um, Apostate Imam is a man whose identity is completely unknown, who claims to be an Indian um, former Muslim who studied under Zachar Nayak, who is a very fam famous- uh, Allegedly. Yeah, yeah uh, allegedly he studied under Zachar Nayak. And Zachar Nayak, for those who don't know, is a world famous Islamic preacher. Um, and, um, you know, he's been featured on a lot of different people's channels and doesn't pass the sniff test. You know, something just seems a little bit off and um he's it's real sketchy and so the other day i woke up and i was getting started at work and i was you know putting something on youtube to just keep me entertained in the background and i see that apostate prophet was live with apostate mom and i was like uh-oh because he had already been apostate mom had already been on secular jihadists recently and that episode also didn't go well <laughs> And so I was like, oh no, like I didn't, I was, I tuned on the episode and I saw this was happening. I was like, does AP know that this guy is like a fraud? Like he doesn't, his story doesn't check out. And so I, I don't want to be the person that is constantly showing up to AP's channel and yeah. being like, please. <laughs> this is the second time <laughs> you showed up at a posted prophet's channel in the live chat with super chats telling him ap no <laughs> no and the first saying... time was with um the perfect dawa <laughs> who is a channel who is an mek supporter which is an iranian terrorist group who's he's deceptive mm. about his affiliation with that group to ap's credit you know um but i didn't want to show up and be like this <laughs> random white like never muslim who just polices the ex muslim community <laughs> so i tried to like put it in a good way because the first chat i sent was like apostate mom what is your main criticism of the bjp and hindu ideology okay because, like okay people might not okay, understand I'm getting ahead of myself. yeah no no because because what susanna knows is that apostate mom is like a hindu apologist right like he has this whole ex-muslim um look and we're like oh i'm just here just to criticize islam right and then the secular jihadist podcast like i we kind of like started noticing that so we were like like he's not anti-islam he's actually anti-muslim right so i kept on trying to i tell him like you know can you criticize you know the people who are mistreating muslims in india and then he was like well can you blame them like oh my god yes i can blame them. like he was actually um endorsing abusive behavior and discrimination against muslims and like you're not anti-islam you're anti-muslim like and and he was also making excuses for the worst the worst crimes and discrimination and oppression by him against muslims he was making excuses for that right so we had like we basically exposed that on, on the secular judge show so that's why susanna was like susanna and the like by the way i was watching this episode by ap okay but by the way, if people are like, why are you only liking it right now? I did this. I'm logged in with the, another channel. Okay, I have liked it on my personal channel when I like when I watched it. Okay, so don't come at me. Okay, I do like it. Okay, um, but no, but I was watching it. I didn't know that you use super chat. Like, I was like watching it, and then I was like, oh no, I <laughs> hope like AP net recognizes what's happening here. And then I saw you in the super chat, right? Like, oh, so that is like everywhere, like. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I was actually so proud of you. Like, and you were trying to be so careful because you were trying to not like make like a posted prophet. Like, because we already told him last time, like, no, you shouldn't have invited this guy. This guy is like a you know, is a terrorist part of a terrorist group. And if you told him again today, AP might have been like, oh my, these people, like, I'm <laughs> like, <to> keep... 
why do they keep bothering me about my guests? Like, I'm just going to start not listening to Susanna anymore. So Susanna was like, Susanna was like not saying that this, this guy is problematic. She was just like, can you ask him if he has any issues with Hindu? <laughs> can you ask him this question? <laughs> I'm like, oh no. But but I'm actually very proud of AP because we like AP we... called him out so hard. It was so good. No, because he is thing. we 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 criticize him for t- two guests for not like looking up the guests before bringing him on. Okay. But the same two guests, we had them on and we realized there's something wrong, fishy about them in the middle of the show okay so we are in no position <laughs> to tell apostle prophet uh why he didn't do his research because you know the first guy that he had on by the way he couldn't tell that he's problematic uh, right because he's not familiar with mek okay but to his credit he's familiar with somebody who's actually a scholar okay um yes like he was so when he actually recognized in the middle of a show that there's something fishy he went like he went so he went an attack mode. I didn't see a person it was like no chill, not holding back because like sometimes you feel like you know you want to be polite. Like he like this you saw it in, this was in the point of the show that like you know what I'm ending this. You have to go. <laughs> I was he like, oh my like God. you don't even have an undergraduate's degree in like no. religious studies. Like what the what the heck are you talking about? Like yeah. I thought um, this was really important and I wanted to talk about it on this news show because this apostate mom guy is getting, he's garnering a large audience in India. Mm -hmm. And so it matters a lot when larger channels platform him and it matters. And I want to congratulate EP as someone who has the largest platform in this space for not only shutting it down as soon as he like realized that something was off and he wasn't comfortable, but keeping it up and like apologizing and being very transparent to his audience and being like, no, I want you guys to see, I, I'm mm-hmm. not going to like take this down and like hide it away. Like, I want people to be aware that this person's story doesn't add up. And one thing that I thought was really interesting was when he started to have this conversation with so-called apostate mom was apostate mom wanted to get into like his criticism of Islam, like right away. Like you could tell he's like memorized certain verses or phrases or hadith, like to show how Islam doesn't make sense. Anyone can do that. Anyone can do that. You don't have mm. to be a Muslim or an Islamic scholar to be Ex- able to do that. But what yeah. what the reason why you can tell this person is not who they say they are is because when AP asks him for information about himself and when you guys on Secular Jihadists were asking him for his background, his story, like about what is it that personally made you as a human want to leave Islam? There's nothing tangible that follows. He just talks about inconsistencies in Islam. But when you talk to most people who've left a faith, they have a person centered story that fits Mm -hmm. into the pattern of their life about how they transitioned out of faith. And you can never tease that out of whoever this person is. And so when you guys had him on secular jihadists, I remember afterwards. So for those who don't know, go check out that episode on secular jihadists. Um, because Oh, this guy is such a fraud. Halfway through the episode, all of a sudden, when Armin starts to press him, Armin starts to press him like juice. (laughs) And as soon as he, all of a sudden, his computer starts dying. All of a sudden, the battery on his laptop starts dying, and he can't continue the episode, even though he had been hounding Ali Rizvi to have this episode for weeks and kept praising Armin multiple times for inspiring, like, leaving Islam and his ex-Muslim activism. All of a sudden, when these people... Yeah, he credits me for leaving Islam. Yeah. (laughs) All of a sudden, when these people who you admire so much that you've been waiting for weeks to talk to, to, to boost your channel... They start pressing you all of a sudden your laptop dies and you have no charging cable you have no power near you it doesn't make any sense and so i was talking to ali afterwards and he was like yeah as soon as he's not able to articulate anything about his why he was personally moved to leave this faith that's when i knew that something was off other people don't talk that way 
you know what I my what I imagine? Okay, and I have no I have no uh, reason to. I have no evidence for this, but I believe it anyways. I'm kidding. You're like, I'm just guessing. This is my hypothesis, right? That a Pisces imam is the version of ex-Muslims that Hindutva wanted and never got. <laughs> True. Oh, so, that's such a good so, way to put it. So they, so they have to create it. <laughs> So they're like, damn, like, they're like, oh, my God, look at these Muslims leaving Islam, being anti-Islam. This is fantastic. We could use these people, right? So they jumped on the ex-Muslim bandwagon for a while until they noticed, like, oh, yeah, we actually don't like any religion. <laughs> and we're like, we, yeah, right? And we're not going to be, like, endorsing Hindutva tactics. And also, we're not anti-Muslim. And we're not going to endorse any uh, mistreatment of Muslims anywhere. They were like, damn, this is like... This is not, this was a bad investment because they used to like support us. They used to like, um, and again, I have to like tell you like Abdullah Samir, um, Harris Sultan, Apostle Prophet, they had a massive following of Hindutva who supported them and they decided not to keep giving it, like feeding that and us actually coming against that with like a huge cost to themselves, right? Huge cost because they, these Hindutva people, they, there's a they're 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 a massive audience, and it's so easy to take advantage of that and build a large following. You know what I mean? And build a large following and just be like, um, they're just, they're just willing. They're just, you know, and the fact that the temptation was there for these ex-Muslim YouTubers and they didn't, and they lost patron, like they lost subscribers, they lost pa uh, patrons. Abd uh, Apostle Prophet lost patrons and subscribers because of this, right? Um, not because of this, but because earlier, like he came and defended me against Hendutva. He lost so many supporters. They don't care. They're like, we're going to have to stand for what's right. So this to me proves that nobody, nobody can seriously um, accuse Apostle Prophet Abdullah Samir or Harris Sultan of being grifters. You know what I mean? Of being just like, just saying whatever to get patrons or subscribers. They're not like that. Because if they were, the Hindutva community was ready and willing and they didn't give in to it, right? And the fact that the only the only ex-Muslims that some of these Hindutva was like, maybe like holding on to was Yasmin Muhammad. I'm hoping that she gave up on that. But Yasmin Muhammad <gasps> was disappointed. Did you not see? She's openly working with hardcore Hindutva supporters that are no. well known to push fake news and bigotry towards Muslims. Remember I sent you that two hour interview. Oh yes. Oh no. Yeah. Yes. Muhammad is the only one she got. Unfortunately, this is very shame, very shame. You, you know, more, more people need to uh, call her out. Anyways, this is what you create. You create, like we don't have enough ex Muslims that are dancing to our, you know, to our tunes, and we so we have to create a fake one and call it Apostle the Mom. Um, and yeah, he's by the way, he's growing, he he is growing. They're like, because most of his fans are Hindutva because they were like, Oh, look, we have an ex Muslim, we created our own ex Muslim to you know, to celebrate. Um, yeah, <laughs> well, I, I like how I like how Apostle Prophet actually changed the name of the title after to mm -hmm. apostate imam exposed right like this is now this this episode needs to stay there for people to be warned about this guy so this is good i'm, I'm glad that he did that yeah um, it's really awesome this is a hilarious comment wait where did it go oh murtad skeptic is saying he is he is a murtad munafik is this <laughs> <Hindu fatakia? laughs> So oh, for those who don't perfect. know, a munafik, it, it means like a hypocrite. It's someone who outwardly expresses to be a Muslim, but inside they're not. Inside they're an apostate, so they're they're fake. And then Murtad is an apostate. So he's saying he's he's That's he's fantastic. he's he's a, he's a fake one. <laughs> that that really made me laugh. Um yeah. This is uh, this. Megumim is saying Hindu. Ridwan called out Hindufa on Twitter. Hindufa flooded him with once a jihadi, always a jihadi, secret jihadi, and all the victimhood Olympics. It's classical tactics. They do this all the time. Um, mm. On a different note, I, I uh, oh. no, it's, that's the same thing. Um, yeah. I would like to congratulate Ridwan, apostate prophet, for recently receiving his American citizenship. Oh, yes. Oh, I was yeah. so excited for him. I was so Ooh, happy. Congratulations. 
honestly, I, I have to admit, I thought he already had it, right? So I was like, but but yes, yay, congratulations. I was so excited. Like, um, I do I feel a little bit of a special pride that I can call him a fellow American? Yes. And I'm not going to apologize for that. <laughs> Wait, I just we, saw something. We get to call Ridwan a posse of profit. We get to call him an American. Mm -hmm. And I'm down damn proud of it, okay? And we're <laughs> happy to have you. Right. We Okay, wait. I'm I'm so happy that we get to have a citizen like Ridwan. There yeah. it's it's awesome when we get citizens that share amazing, awesome values like him. So the United States just got a little bit better. Yeah. Um <laughs> yeah he's one of us Susie USA, <laughs> USA. <laughs> Luke is <laughs> the local <laughs> bricks bloody Hi, yanks <laughs> I, I do want to address something in the, an accusation in the live chat right um and, uh, uh, Hendutva Susanna is saying it didn't <laughs> gets me every time <laughs> Didn't know about a post at a mom, but most ex-Muslim Western YouTubers behave like ex-Muslim movement should be exclusive to Western world, not to India. That is actually so false. Let me tell you why. Because <laughs> before we realized that this guy was full of crap and that he's making excuses for discrimination of Muslims, we were having him on, right? So he, the apostate imam himself is proof of the fact that this is not the case because the fact that he was based in india like we were actually celebrating that like we were this is why he, we were he trying doesn't to be claim like, to be based in india he claims that he's in london but i don't know india. that okay so first of all so then if if he if he claims to be based in london then that doesn't uh, work with your, your with your claim because every other ex-muslim is also like from somewhere else from most of them from iran from turkey from pakistan they just happen to be living in western countries the only reason why they're more outspoken in western countries is because they get to be they get to uh it's less dangerous for them to like it you know if they are outspoken and in bangladesh well that's that's kind of scary right so that's why we hide there's more ex-muslims outspoken in western countries it's not like that we prefer them um it's just that ex-muslims prefer to live generally right on average most ex-muslims prefer life over death right um but no we i didn't know that he was based i thought he was based in india we had no issue with him um we were we wanted to celebrate him for the work he's doing the only problem we were like oh no you're bad because you're not based in a western country we we're like no you're like you're full of crap uh because you're promoting hindutva I and mean, you're promoting anti-muslim bigotry that's that's the problem we have with him. yeah well and i would also because somebody out here is also saying indian ex-muslim wants money that's what they will go to such lengths okay first of all this whoever this person is in real life they are not representative of the, of the indian ex-muslim community the indian ex-muslim community particularly in south india is flourishing so greatly and increasing so quickly that it is catching the attention of associated press affiliated news services like religious news service like they have their own feature to talk about how much of a growing movement it is in india the ex-muslim movement it's huge and so this one person who is in all likelihoods a complete fraud and we're happy to correct this if he can like actually produce things that make his story seem at any way credible okay but um no this isn't representative of a huge movement huge growing movement in india so i, I mean love even, Indian if, Muslim even if he's even if he was a scholar or a former imam, he's still full of crap because he openly endorses anti-Muslim bigotry. So and we're not for that. We're not for that. Um I, I just want to say like something people are talking about Yes Muhammad in love chat. I still will celebrate Yes Muhammad when she does something um good, you know what I mean? Like you you know we criticize her when she supports Hindutva, but that doesn't mean like we're not gonna like completely dismiss the work she's doing, right? Like for example, um, 
you know, recently she she signed a letter um, to the to the Canadian government asking for atheists to be recognized as refugees in Canada. Yeah, we for celebrate the Afghanistan that. situation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We celebrate that. Okay. So again, we don't completely like we, some people are saying, yes, Muhammad was a disappointment. Like, don't completely write off uh, somebody. You know what I mean? We could say, instead of saying, yes, Muhammad was a disappointed disappointment, say, like, this act by her was a disappointment. So that when she does something that is not a disappointment, we can we don't completely dismiss her as a whole. We were like, oh my God, this was fantastic. Thank you, yes, Muhammad. And we're like, oh no, this was unfortunate. Maybe don't do that. Maybe like, Yes, Mama. But don't complain. Like she's not somebody that we will completely write off. Like we will celebrate and we get disappointed, dependent and dependent on what she does. Anyways, um, you know, I thought no, just one final thought. I thought it was really interesting when you said that you know ex-Muslims didn't turn out to be what Hindutva thought they would be, and you know why it is? It's right. because <laughs> Muslims, ex-Muslims, are leaving a right wing. Sometimes, depending on how fundamental they are, they're they're leaving a far right ideology. So they're not inclined to go running back into one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We have experienced what it's like to be to have like a a, a government or a mob, um, <laughs> you know, like analyzing everything you do and trying to find ways to attack you right like we know what is what that what is that like and we don't wish that upon anybody we don't wish that upon ex-muslim atheists but we also don't wish that upon muslims <laughs> so if you want to have a different label to uh, and use that as a way to mistreat people um you're like yo we we know what this is like you know um and we're not gonna endorse it for anybody yeah yeah very good points with that huh very good point very good um okay megumin i see you, you're being hysterical it's kind of funny but we're gonna have to move on atheist republic needs your help we have been the target of many legal attacks by hindu nationalists ever since our founder armin Abhabi blasphemed against hindu deities we have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in india we have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues including judicial harassment and censorship Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.